welcome to this Amazon haul day video. I get Amazon one day a week delivery. Here I am in part four. And well, I know I had promised a video on Summer Wells and I still want to do that, but I'm having a hard time actually getting around to doing it. <laughs> Um, something happened in my family's life that kind of delayed the process and just shook me up. And now I'm, I'm able to, you know, get going again and doing some things. And at some point in time, I'll talk a little bit about it, but I won't ever be able to tell you a whole bunch. Um, anyway, uh, that kind of delayed things and, you know, the Summer Wells case has been just a quagmire of things. Now, even today, something came out with this jo Jose who stayed at the Wells house and Don Wells had an altercation in 2020, which was about, oh, I think it was probably nine months or so before Summer went missing, maybe more or less. I'm not sure. I haven't calculated it. Um... And I could be even off on that. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I think that's about right. But anyway, um, and I was listening to the actual interview, which is very interesting. It's on Justice for All. That's where the original uh, interview is. But, you know, I'm never going to be one of those that we're talking five hours into the night or I'm talking all day live with people because... I think you get into trouble with doing that. Um, and I think it also is troubling for the cases. And I think Summer Wells' cases is, is a case in point. I think, you know, a little information is good, but too much information that leaves you, leads you down the wrong ad avenues and people speculating, it creates obstructions for justice in a case such as Summer Wells, and that's why we're kind of at a loss of what's happening, probably. We hope that, you know, law enforcement knows more and is doing more, and, um, you know, there'll be something that comes to light, but, you know, it all takes time, and um, the wheels of justice are slow, but the um, outcome, you know, is that, you know, the right people are put behind bars most of the time, and there aren't um, as many mistakes as if, you know, things would happen swiftly. So, um, I'm hoping they can find Summer. I certainly hope she's found safe. I, I, I don't know how that would be, but I, I hope so. Um, and anyway, it's quite the case. Um, I think uh, when I do do a video, I'm just going to do the very basics because I think so much stuff has come out that the real basics are lost and that's where everything starts and where things need to be. Um, talked about and you know I'll talk a little bit more in depth about some other things and and so on um I'll do some of what I had planned but um you know I'm glad I waited because uh I think when this channel covers true crime it will be a better thing now I'm talking about a crown chakra singing bowl that's what I'm opening up and the crown chakra of course is you know way up here it's kind of connecting to source or to God, you know. Um, there's one more, which is the soul star chakra, which someday I hope I get something that's for that. And that's definitely, you know, to the universe and, and God uh, frequencies and so on. So, but that's what this is. And it says it's a B, which I'm kind of confused because I thought my throat chakra was a B. And that's, but, you know, it could be a full octave difference, I'm thinking. I don't know. So, this one, again, made in China. It's that Satong, Satong uh, 
company. There it is, sits on. And this is, again, this mallet. The O-ring is in here. So I'm gonna take those out. Um, my B came with a little striker, which is neat. So I have one of those to use on all of them. So, um, you know, it wasn't all a loss because it had that little piece, which really helps me play them a little bit better. So um, this one I didn't have to take the rubber band off. Um, perhaps this one was purchased by someone and returned or they just didn't do that in the process of packing, which is fine because then I didn't have to take a whole bunch of time to do that for you. The bag is laid out the same. I'll probably put that O-ring right in here right away. Sometimes I put the striker right in here too. Um, and it'll sit out a little bit. Sometimes I put the striker right inside the bowl too. So there's that option too, which I think I might do this time. We'll see. But I have that little handle here that I can do that. There are some that the loop was even tighter so it fit better, but I don't know. Anyway, so we have that that locks it. And let's see what this one looks like. They all are a little bit smaller to give you, you know, the higher frequency. So again, this is probably an octave different. Oh, this is where the rubber band was. It's a deeper purple. Again, it's feeling very cold, so I won't be striking it. I have been just very fortunate that these arrived all arrived safely. So now I pretty much have a complete set unless I get and then it's got this little sticker right here, which I think I'm going to be putting on the outside of the bag so that I, you know, kind of easily identify what's inside. But isn't that gorgeous? No. Just to give you an idea. So just really beautiful. Anyway, so I didn't want to do too much of that though, because I think it it's warmed up. It's been in the house a couple hours now, but or at least an hour, but it's still it's cold out enough today that they should warm up a little bit before I I play them and then I'll add them to the last two videos. And then if you'd like, let me know if you'd like to see me play all of them sometime. I might do that. You can let me know in the comments. And uh, if you'll see me in a little bit playing these, maybe. And I may be wearing a different outfit because I might wait until tomorrow. But I will film my intros and exits for each of these videos. Probably get one of them up to well, maybe this week, I don't know about today, but I will be getting one up. And who knows, maybe you'll have seen some Wells video before I even put any of these up because I'm not sure when I'm going to be putting what up. Um, I'm just planning on doing a lot of filming in the next days. Um, today I have to write the Summer Wells thing, so some of these you may see, you know, after I get that filmed, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I have to work on the writing. I have a few other business things I have to take care of first, so I don't know. And I have my office I'm working on, so I don't know that my Summer Wells video will get up until after that's accomplished, because I really 
feel those things need to be in place before I do those videos. But sometimes I get impatient and sometimes I have more energy and I get things done and, you know, it's hard to say what I will do. But anyway, so that was my crown chakra singing bowl. This is the crown chakra singing bowl. And this one, the purpose of it is, I look at it as um, connecting even more to God, to spirit. It's on the top of your head. Um, there's one other, which I don't have yet, um, and that is the soul star chakra, which connects to the universe and even more to God, I believe. But this one connects to your angelic realm, um, just a little bit even more so, um, opens you up to hearing God's voice. Um, not in like you're going to hear him like I'm talking to you, but um, hear his direction, I guess is what I'm saying. Hear God's direction or being more open to that. Um, that's how I look at this. Um, some would say towards your higher self, you know, you need these all in alignment um, for your health and so on and well-being. So, without further ado, my crown chakra bowl. And so you saw my, th no, my throat, you saw my third eye and my crown chakra bowls um, within this series of videos. Um, they were both delivered on the same Amazon Prime day as everything except for the book on um, Edward Everett. Uh, so um, that is what I'm up to these days. As you can see, I have quite a bit of reading. Um, sometimes this channel will deal with political ideas and thoughts, historical and not historical, um, sometimes true crime, and sometimes just fashion and fun. And this is, you know, like kind of a, a fun thing, but I am talking, I hope you got the point is that um, one thing I do is, you know, to kind of save gas, save, you know, a little energy and stuff. I do try to have things delivered one day a week from Amazon Prime. Sometimes things get different and, you know, we have things, uh, you know, delayed. And a lot of what I order are grocery items, uh, things that would be very boring for you to see, but I did want to include some of them, or pharmacy items, um, just to make sure that um, we keep ourselves stocked up but not overly stocked um we don't want to hoard things and so on like that so you know and it kind of helps us do that it helps keep us on a little bit of a budget and i mean this is these are some tips i have that i found useful they may not be for you but um things that you could try if you want anyway so until next time i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and uh if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to An Accidental Retiree. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So I hope you liked particularly my singing bowls on these videos. And if you liked this format where I'm breaking up an Amazon Prime haul, please let me know in the comments. And um, I'll bring more videos like this once in a while to you when I have something special. Ooh, look at that rainbow coming in there. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this day, and uh, I've enjoyed making these videos for you. Sorry about the ending part here where it's not quite the way I would want, because guess what? I broke my tripod. <laughs> I have a new one, but I want to wait until I set up my office, because I don't want to break that one. <laughs> it's a little bit better than this one was. This one was my old reliable, but not great one, so... 
I'm not crying about it, but it was kind of nice to have <laughs> in a pinch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series, and we'll see you soon, hopefully with some true crime, maybe some political commentary. Um, I know I have a fashion haul type thing with um, the colored Pantone of the Year, um, which is kind of like an annual thing that I do. Um, I'm hoping to do some crafting videos and, um, you know, this is a variety channel, so you never know what you're going to see, but you'll see something that maybe you'll like. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to, um, my channel, An External Retiree, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. I hope you're all doing well and take care. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget.